Hospital Porter's pride and dignity stopped the New World Order. Welcome to Her Panmo TV. Now the other day I went and I saw a film called The Fourth Kind. Um, the title refers to alien abduction. It's the Hynek scale. You know, J. Allen Hynek, the famous ufologist, um, he coined the phrase, he coined the, um, these, this scale. Um, Close Encounters of the First Kind was um, just seeing a flying saucer or UFO of some kind. Um, Close Encounters of the Second Kind was when the object leaves some kind of tangible evidence that can be studied scientifically. The Close Encounters of the Third Kind is of course where you meet the beings inside and you may well have seen the famous movie of that name. Now Close Encounters of the Fourth Kind is like when you get abducted by aliens, which is very, very, it's become very, very well known now, and the idea that aliens take you. Um, that's the meaning of the film's title. Now, um, the film is just set in a place called Nome, N O M E. Now, if you look on your atlases, you'll see that um, it's actually one of the remotest places on Earth. It's a, it's a small place, small town, um, in the far western area of Alaska. It's actually on the very far northwestern extremity of North America where um, North America actually meets Asia at the Bering Straits. Um, it's, you can't actually get there by road, you have to fly. And then there's just it's on a place called the, um, uh, the Seward Peninsula. Um, now the film is very unusual because it's, it's a horror film. In fact it scared the shit out of me and I needed a stiff drink at the bar afterwards. But um, it's said to be based on a true story, and there are not many horror films like that. You know, maybe Amityville Horror, um, The Serpent and the Rainbow, things like that. But it's very unusual to get a horror film based on real events, and I think that makes them all the more frightening, actually, for obvious reasons. Um, it's also, but it's, it's, it's even though it's a fictionalisation, it's actually a mixture of, of um, different things. It's, it's, uh, it's partly scenes which are fictionalised with actors and actresses, and it's partly... Um, documentary footage, you know, interviews with the witnesses, um, and scenes filmed at hypnotherapy sessions with uh, psychologists, uh, things like that. Sometimes you get one scene which is one, the fictionalisation, and the other which is the documentary. And sometimes the two are actually cut together in the same sh shot. You get like um, a split screen with two halves of the screen, one half one, one half the other, where the two exactly the same things going on. Um, I went through it thinking this is this is a ruse. This is like War of the Worlds. It's just a docudrama. And any minute now at the end, there's going to be a complete cast cast list, and they and some of the people are going to come out, including the um, actors who were playing the the um, characters in the documentary footage, and they're going to go, ha ha, it's all right, it's not real. That's what I was expecting, because most of them do this nowadays because of all the terrible trouble people have got into. Um, by broadcasting docudramas when people think they're real. I mean, War of the Worlds is the worst example because people actually, there were actually deaths as a result and people panicking to get out of the cities because they thought aliens had invaded. Um, th that didn't happen. The film ended with a cast list of the fictionalization section and that was it. And so a few little captions saying what the characters were doing now. Um, I, like I said, that, that scared me. It really did, because it's a frightening film. I won't spoil it for you, but yeah, it, it does scare me. Um, well, I was, I, I was intrigued. I was still, I still sort of felt this is real. This is real. But there's a part of me that think it can't be real. It can't be. So I did some very, very in-depth and thorough background research into the production of the film. In other words, I wicked it. Now, guess what? The Wikipedia article says it's actually faked. It's guerrilla marketing. <laughs> You know, and um, so, and I thought, oh dear, it was, it was a great disappointment. It was very annoying. Um, there's no, you know, this 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 kind of thing is actually muddying the waters. I mean, I'm not saying people don't have a right to make these movies if they want, but if they do make them, they're not actually helping the situations, like with alien abduction witnesses, people who actually experience these things for real, really real. And they come forward and they, and they say, this is this is really. Um, they come forward and they sort of like tell people, 
and those people say, oh yeah, like in the fourth kind, that movie, yes, I'm sure, oh yeah, go on a cup of tea, mate. So, excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold. <clears throat> there's no, you know, to me, this is really, uh, it's rather in self-indulgent to make these kind of movies for the fake. But then I'm not even thinking, um, what if, what if it's, it's not fake? Could this be some kind of very elaborate double bluff? Because I mean, the the, the, inc the situations portrayed in the film are so explosive. They basically, it's basically relevant to the disclosure project. <coughs> you know, could it be that after the film was produced, maybe after it was released, somebody came forward and said, "No, no, let's tell them it's fake." They've been paid off the producers. Now you might sound bizarre. I mean, you think, "Well, how can they get away with that?" But I mean, it's. You shouldn't underestimate these uh, these manipulators and what they're capable of in terms of disinformation. It, it's, it could be a double bluff. The film could be real, like it, like exactly like you say it is. The documentary footage, real documentary footage, and the producers put on the article and, and put out to the media and put on the Wikipedia article. No, no, we faked it all because someone's put the frighteners on them and told them to shut up. Um, the. My, I have several reasons for thinking this. Um, firstly, the Wikipedia article and the producers since have not issued a full cast list. In other words, the people who are the people portrayed in the documentary footage in the film have not actually been credited. In other words, their actors and actresses have not been credited. None of them are recognisable. I've not seen them in any other movies or any other kind of production. You know, they've not been in when I went to see Cinderella last year at Christmas. But at the Oxford Playhouse, didn't see them there. They weren't the guy selling the tea in the market, you know, minor, minor characters. Um, there's, there's several other reasons. The, um, there's one scene where where one of the characters is in bed, being hip, is lying in bed and he's being hypnotised for a hypnotherapy session. He's been put into a regressive mode and then suddenly he's, he, his voice goes very deep, unnaturally. He starts speaking in a strange language and he levitates out of the bed. Now, surely that's a big, have you seen that before? Of course, The Exorcist. It's an extremely cliche um, scene, and I don't think, it's a very cliche thing to do, and I don't think anyone making a movie you know, would actually put that in, it's so cliche. It's, it's kind of, it would kind of discredit them, you know what I mean? You know, so, what, so what is, uh, what is it, eh? What is, the fourth kind, real, unreal, fake, docudrama, documentary, fictionalisation, I don't know. Uh, like I say, if it's fake, well, I'm pissed off, that annoys me. Um, if it's not fake, well, that's, it's always possible. Hopefully we'll hear more about it in the future and the truth will come out. Well, whatever, you know, go and see it. It's, it's well worth seeing, it really is. Um, it's, 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 like I said, uh, not for the faint-hearted, perhaps. Thanks for watching Hapanmo TV. This has been a Hapanmo TV film review. Hospital Porters, Pride and Dignity, Stop the New World Order.